I can really sympathize with the first son on this one because, again, this dude loves walking around naked just as much as he loves smoking Parmesan cheese he finds on the ground, okay? But again, uh, here's where we kind of part company. Well, we do on multiple fronts, but still, right now, taking pictures of his dick all the time, that's just weird, okay? Like, even again, like, he loves to videotape every aspect of his life, every single aspect of his life. Whenever he does anything Anything of note or anything that he believes to be of note he has he's out there with one of his many 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 video recording devices oh uh, making sure that uh, everybody knows exactly how much crack cocaine he has okay which cousin he's deciding to spend his time with how many different hookers of different ethnicity and types except for no yellows right uh, whoever he wants to spend his time with will be in front of a camera in some form or fashion and one point of time but now he's been asked well actually i guess he's been asked multiple times like hunter why do you why do you keep taking pictures of your deck okay fortunately ugh, in doing this job you kind of have to see some things that you don't want to see okay and again ugh, god no homo but you know i've seen the first son's first son and again no homo once again it's not a bad piece it's not tiny it's not fucking huge or anything he's not hanging a tommy lee schlong or anything like that but is it something that you'd want to be taking Polaroids of every fucking second of the day when you're cracked out of your mind? No, no, I don't think so. But according to Hunter Biden, or at least in some more of the released documents or some of the released data from one of his many, many devices, according to him, he suffers from body dysmorphia. Of course he does. So, Hunter Biden attributes his penis obsession to body dysmorphia. He just keeps yelling at it. Why aren't you black? Why? Hunter Biden said his obsession with naked selfies was a result of body dysmorphia. According to a rambling screed found on notes on his hard drive. Physically on the hard drive? I don't put anything past him at this point. I love to be reassured that my nine inch very big penis was actually big. Nine? Really? And again, no homo. I like I have seen it. Pause. Nine? I don't know. Like, I know the size of an average Skittle, but mm, it's definitely above average. Why am I talking about his dick? Fuck god damn it. I know my penis is almost twice the size of an average man's penis. Why do you stop it? Why do you keep talking about dicks, you weirdo? Oh god, he's gonna be banging traps in the next fucking data disclosure, isn't he? Jesus Christ. Uh, the first son wrote, uh, July 12th, 2018. Oh great, just four short years ago, Christ. Uh, the note was found on the hard drive of the laptop Hunter Biden left at a Delaware computer store in April of 2019. And theoretically, the FBI has known about this the entire time because they've had an open investigation since November or December of 2019. So again, I guess maybe they've just been laughing at this shit as well. In addition to the web of shady overseas business dealings, which again, now kind of implicate the Obama administration, but again... The Obama administration has been implicated in a bunch of other things and they ever been held accountable for literally anything? No, because that would be racist, I guess. In addition, yes, also to the uh, homemade pornography, selfies in various states of undress, drug use, and the images he took of his manhood and various states of arousal. Yeah, like he's in a green room or at least a bathtub with green lighting where he slowly lowers his junk and himself into a bathtub only to smoke crack cocaine with mood lighting i don't get it but again i've never tried crack or anything i don't know maybe that just it gives you a better high fucking who knows just one day after writing the note hunter biden posted a series of images of him having snacks with an unnamed woman at least it looks like a woman in this time okay it's not a kid what's i i don't even want to know what that is in the bottom left hand corner and just a whoopee cushion Yo, that picture of him in a jock strap is never not going to be hilarious. That's the first son. The son of the 46th president of the United States of America. And people think that the Biden administration is a step up from Trump because at least they have respectability on a global stage. Can you fucking believe that? Anyways, body dysmorphic disorder is a condition that causes the sufferer to obsess over perceived defects in their appearance. Or maybe he's just a crackhead. Maybe. Who knows? I, I needed to make sure that I, I still have a big dick. That's why I have 3,800 different fucking selfies in different angles. I will just be like every other person. Fucking just slap a ruler down and see where it is. Take a picture if you have bad fucking memory or something. Christ almighty. 
Sounds like an overcompensation. In the past, Hunter may have felt that there was some, though he did a lot of Felton, that's for sure, something lacking. And it seems that he bases a lot of his internalized value with his penis. Yeah, we've seen his sexual exploits, unfortunately. Or I don't know, maybe he's just big mad that he's so fucking close to getting to double digits, okay? He's just not quite at that 10-inch promised land. God damn it. He's just been saddled with a 9-inch womb wrecker. Oh well. Uh, Allison Cohen, a drooling New York City-based psychotherapist uh, who has treated clients with the dis disorder, told the Post. Yeah, no, exactly. Normally, body dysmorphia, it's uh, being a personal trainer, you come across this a whole bunch of times, okay? People think that they're either overwhelmingly fat when they stand in the mirror because they still have this same old self-perception that even after they've lost all the weight, okay, they've done all their tightening, their sculpting, their toning, their fucking big weight dump, but then they still see themselves in some form or fashion with some inadequacies. It's like, Okay, you lost 50 pounds. Oh my god, I got all this extra skin. It's like, don't worry. It doesn't look like it's going to die or anything like that. And that'll eventually tighten up. Okay, just lift some weights or some shit like that. And that'll fucking work out. Okay, without knowing a specific circumstance, it might sound flippant. But for the most part, okay, most of that loose skin, okay, it'll bounce back. Okay, skin's pretty pliable. Unless, of course, it's just stretched out and it kind of looks like a turkey's neck. Uh, then you better see the plastic surgeon. Okay, or somebody who just keeps trying to justify it's like, oh god, my shirt doesn't fit as well as it used to. But again, I don't know what's wrong with that. See, Nico, uh, what's his nuts there? Fat fuck who does those mukbangs. Uh, Nick Akato Avocado, that fucking 900 pound Goliath who just cries and eats a bunch of fucking noodles. Shit's weird. When he was first very, very much in denial about him gaining massive amounts of weight by eating plates and platters worth of food fucking trough but anyways one degenerate at a time the hard drive note is mostly an extended denunciation of hallie biden the widow of Bo biden oh the one that yeah he was fucking with for a minute uh with whom hunter began a tempestuous relationship that's also as weird as this is gonna sound a form of biblically endorsed marriage hang with me for a second on this as you can see here this meme provides all of the necessary sources of the different kinds of marriage that are in the bible uh the one number two right there with the, the skeleton next to it i don't think you know it hey unless um a wife's really attached to that i don't think that the skeleton's all too necessary but it's a i'll i won't be able to pronounce this correctly but i'll get it mostly right leverate may or marriage it's from the book of genesis right 38 6 through 10 there you go check your source on that one a widow who had not born a son required to marry her brother-in-law must submit sexually to her new husband maybe that's why hunter was so goddamn mad because she just wouldn't do butt stuff with hunter and she has to they're in a committed relationship or at least they were for the time being and look at him like i mean what a catch he's got his own denim jacket he's got his own scarf and adidas tennis shoes and he doesn't have brain cancer so again what a what a fucking winner and we know he at least has 21 ounces of crack cocaine that you guys could have shared together again okay? jesus stop being so selfish when the woman you have given up everything for says to a crowd of people i loved Bo. i'm addicted to hunter sorry what shouldn't that kind of be a bonding point for you guys she's like i'm so addicted to you hunter and she's like oh and then he says yeah i'm so addicted to you crack cocaine uh, what does anyone who has an addiction want to do more than anything? She was, or he was really hope. I keep mixing that up. He was really, really, really hoping that she would suck his pipe, his massive nine-inch pipe, and don't you forget it. They want to rid themselves of that awful obsession. He wrote without any punctuation. What a fucking weirdo. Any transgression on her part is forgiven because they all know who she's under the influence of Hunter. She never acted this way before. Jesus, what the fuck did Hunter do now? He really didn't do a lot to, you know, help your reputation because you were a raging addict at the time. But, all right. He continued, adding that sadistic Haley Biden would often insult his manhood. Oh, shit! As a way to tear down his already fragile ego. Yeah, he keeps saying it's a nine, but... Again, unfortunate for humanity, but I guess for your, you fuckers amusement, I had to see that crank and nine's a bit of a stretch, which is probably what he does when he measures it. See, if I measure from the back of my taint, it's nine inches long. Anyways, I think he must associate his penis. What? Are, okay, Dr. Freud. He must uh, associate his penis with the value to some degree. 
which is probably why he hates his mother so much, which is funny. He hates his stepmother a whole hell of a lot, which again, we share certain things in common, which is probably why uh, he was so upset when Hele didn't recognize its value to her. Exactly, you need to praise by the inch, you insolent whore. At the time of the note, Hunter Biden was flush with cash from his work on behalf of Ukrainian energy company Burisma and the Chinese energy company CEFC. At the time, Hunter had taken up residence in the three-story penthouse in the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Oh, and just a, a little red pill when all we're talking about is dicks and supposed blue pills because what I think another thing was he couldn't get hard all that often or when he would, it would just be drug assisted or some shit like that. But regardless, here's a little red pill, okay? Money doesn't make you anybody, okay? it's uh, Money's an amplifier. So if you're a crackhead dork with money, you're Hunter Biden. And if you're a crackhead without money, uh, you're Tyrone Biggums, okay? The actions are still the same, okay? Regardless of wealth. The 3,200 square foot suite once housed Hollywood A-listers Clark Gable and Carol Lombard, according to the hotel website, and features two bedrooms, dining room, and living rooms, three bathrooms, a full bar, and private rooftop. But how, but how many mirrors does it have? God damn it, because I need to take a picture of my dick. Night in the penthouse will set you back $4,000. That's not too bad, considering how luscious the accommodations are, right? Like, I mean, you probably made some random hooker's night by doing that. Representative for Hunter Biden didn't respond to a request for comment, but they did send an attachment and a little bit concerned as to its contents, because even if he just had a little humor left in him, eh, a little under nine inches of humor left in him, that's the way that he should have responded to all this shit, because the, the what? The, Oh, I was going to say Washington Post, but the New York Post, oh my God, they've been brutal on him and thank God because of it. Because again, this motherfucker did a bunch of illegal illicit, I don't know necessarily if it was illegal, but he definitely leveraged his connection with his father to the White House and definitely to the rest of the Washington swamp and nobody in mass media wants to talk about it except for the post. Good on you. Give you shit every once in a while, but you know what? You guys are definitely solid on this one. With all that said, and thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.